forward. Uh, starting uh, next week, it's Passion in the Park, and Alfred's going to be there along with uh, Rachel. So uh, the people at Island Park, starting with Bridgeview, are going to be treated to some uh, great talent. And Mary Ellen, we're excited to start Passion in the Park next uh, Sunday at Bridgeview. Um, you've followed me for the past three weeks. Last week we were at my empty lot, and um, I thank you, Howie, for bringing attention to everything that's going on. But this week, not focusing on me, focusing on everybody else that's going through similar situations or, or uh, different situations, but still in, in, in the same agony that, that I'm going through, we need to bond together. We need to come together. We need to show... Um, our government officials that we're not going to take this. We 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 need help and we need your support and we need you to come down to Bridgeview next next week and we need you to tell your story on air and and come join us with Howie. He is here. He is behind us. He is making this public and we need you. If you're bodily not there, if your story is is not being told, then we are not being helped. And right now, we are not victims of Sandy anymore. We are victims of New York Rising. And this week, it's coming out in the press that New York Rising is now asking for money back from people who have totally completed their, their lift. They've completed their, their renovations. They're living in a good place. They're in a good place. But now New York Rising is coming up with some cockamamie story that they have to give back money. When is this going to stop? That's horrible. Anna, um, you know, you, you, I'll tell you, I... You and Mary Ellen are amazing uh, community activists, and, and, and that's why all these businesses are, you know, joining with us, uh, sponsoring the show from Italia Stone to Seacoast Realty to Island Park Deli, Ben's Contracting, Wood Deluxe Corp, Pancho's Cantina, and many more on the way, because they believe, really, they believe in you, and through you, they believe in me, and I promise that we are going to hold... Uh, New York Rising's foot to the fire, and we're not going to be satisfied, Anna, until every single homeowner is back in their homes. Because, you know, to, to broadcast last week at an empty lot at Mary Ellen's home is heartbreaking. And we, we're not going to stop, and we're going to be with you every step of the way until every last homeowner is in the house. That's why uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that, that Newsday is here, and we, we welcome Newsday to follow us. And, and that's my, my goal as a radio host that I, my promise is to the good residents of Island Park is I'm not going to be satisfied until every single resident is back in their homes. What they've gone through with New York Rising, it's all, think about this, it's almost two full years since Hurricane Sandy, and hundreds of people in Island Park are still living in trailers or homeless. It's unacceptable, Anna. Yes, I agree, Howie. Uh, we're coming up on our two-year anniversary. We will be doing a rally starting in front of New York Rising down to the village to let them know that we are not going to stand for this. There's many homeowners that are still not home. And like Mary Ellen said, now New York Rising is coming up that they want money back. Half of the homeowners haven't even gotten their first check from New York Rising, and they're asking for money back that, to me, is ridiculous. I finally got my opt-in form sent to me almost two years after Superstorm Sandy. As Mary Ellen said, we're not victims of the storm. Now we're becoming victims of our government, New York State Rising, that was promised, was sent here to help us as homeowners, taxpayers, and no one's helping us. You know, yes, we do have you know, Ben Rajat from the Toro Law College that has been helping people pro bono. There are, like Howie's trying to get the story out there, but we still need help, and New York Rising, Governor Cuomo, uh, our mayor, our public officials, please come out and join us at Bridgeview. Passion in the Park will be airing from Island Park for the next month or two, so please come out and help the residents. As an Island Park Civic Association president, I promise that's why I ran to help the homeowners of Island Park and that's what I will continue to do for my first two years my next two years in office yes Mary yeah, Ellen? we are not seeing the support that that we deserve that that we need we are not seeing the support on the village le level on the town level and especially not the state level I am sorry um, it, it's a failure and you need to come out and help us and anybody who is in any kind of situation that involves New York Rising, 
You need to join us next week at Bridgefield. You need to be heard. You need to get the stories out, and we need to be helped. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Gina, um, you're a very compassionate person, and uh, what you do, um, you're a teacher at the at Long Beach Middle School. Uh, you're going to be teaching. You teach uh, special ed. You make such a difference in young people's lives, and a lot of your students at the middle school are from Island Park who are still not in their homes, so I know this affects you very deeply. Children need stability. They need to be in their home environments where they feel safe, where they have routine, where they have consistency. You know, that's, that's a huge part of a child's um, well-being is, is stability. So to get them back into their homes, is a, there's a huge sense of urgency there. They need to be back home. Rocco, uh, your take on, on this whole situation? I think it's incredibly uh, sad that, that the whole thing with Allen Park really hasn't been settled yet. I mean, we really benefit in a, a lot of ways in Long Beach because, you know, we live in an area that tourists flock to every summer, and they, that gave it a great sense of urgency and, you know, a great sense of need to bring it back. I mean, we had Billy Crystal donate money to us, and he did a whole, um, tour, a, a whole tourism campaign was created in the wake of all this to try to get people back to their towns. I mean, to get people to the town again and, and people back into their homes. So that, that, I mean, the fact that we do live by the beach afforded a great luxury that unfortunately Island Park really doesn't have. So I think it's really imperative in the next month or so, or whatever time we spend, to really campaign and to get people back into their homes and to really bring Island Park a much greater sense of, um, you know, like, like, like use our power of the radio to really help these people because, you know, nobody should be able to not have to um, have a place to live in for two years straight. It's just really horrible. Absolutely. We're going to switch gears a little bit.